Hello guys, Scott Rex here, and today we'll be reacting to uh, this new virtual girl group, Maeve. Um, it's not the first time that we have um, virtual K-pop girl groups, and um, we had KDA before, and I think Infinity, but that was like, um, but uh, Infinity wasn't a really popular um, virtual gr uh, girl group. Um, but this new girl group, Maeve. Um, they are managed by a real um, K-pop company, which is Metaverse Entertainment. I think. Yeah, and they debuted like a few days ago as well, and with their debut song Pandora. Um, the concept for Mave is like I wouldn't say it's similar to Espa, because Espa had like virtual uh, um, idols as well, but they're still real idols um, promoting and performing um in music shows and and yeah but maybe it's like a full on um virtual k-pop group, group there's no um um real idols in this new girl group it's just a virtual um k-pop girl group yeah So yeah, before we check out the MV guys, we're gonna watch. We're gonna check out the K-pop profile for Mave. All right. So yeah, I mean they look they look real <laughs> in the in the in the concept photo, man. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. It's a four-member girl group, girl group as well. Alright, Maeve is a four-member South Korean virtual girl group under Metaverse Entertainment. The Korean name is Meibu. They debuted on January January 25th, 2023 with the single album Pandora's Box. Alright. Pandora's Box, yeah. So they have um, Instagram as well, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube if you guys want to follow them. Alright, what's the meaning of Maeve? The meaning of it is make new wave, meaning they will create a new wave in the K-pop industry. It, that's interesting, yeah. I mean, this is like the next generation of uh, K-pop girl groups as well. I think at the start of the fifth gen, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're going to see some more um, companies promote um, virtual K-pop girl groups, which is going to be interesting. Alright, let's check out the members profile. So the first member is Shiyu. She looks real man, but technically she's she's in, she's not real. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if they're using deep fake on for this uh, virtual idols. Cause I used to like um Watch another like um, virtual group before. I think the name is Inf uh, Infinity. Now uh, they use like deep fake um, technology for the virtual K-pop um, idol idols. But this, um, but the one for Maeve looks realistic, man. <laughs> Right, Shiyu, birth name. Her position is leader, main vocalist. They even gave um, them birthdays as well. <laughs> March 2, 2002. Um, well, that's not really that's not really their um, true birthday. <laughs> I mean, there's not, that's not their real birthday, guys, because they're virtual idols. <laughs> so she was born in spring. She crash landed in Jeju Island, South Korea. She remembers a light purple sunset sky and sea. Her ID number is one S one zero zero one zero one one zero. All right, so I think that's part of their lore. She has main skills, composure, empathy abilities, and at ninety nine percent, she is intu intuitive. Power is very high. Her affinity is rather low. She loves the lavender scent, spicy tteokbokki, tteokbokki, acoustic music, and rainy days. Her hobby is singing while playing the guitar. If you were to describe her as sensitive, warm, empathic, and has external strength, 
Her motto, trust me. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Um, let's actually read the um, facts as well for this um, virtual K-pop girl group, Maeve. <laughs> Alright, this next one is Zena. She looks stunning, man. Um, she you. Even though she's not, she's not real. <laughs> Alright, Zena. Zena. Lead vocalist. Birthday, December 25, 2002. So they gave her um, um. I mean, yes, yeah, she, she was artificial, artificial, sorry, artificially born on December twenty five, two thousand two. <laughs> All right, Zenafax. She was born in winter. She crash landed in Paris, France, and only remembers the snow covered village. So this time, um, Zena crash landed in Paris. Are they like aliens? Um, or just seem like, uh, uh, like inter extraterrestrial beings from another planet. Regardless um, of what what they are, they're just they're, they're still like um, k virtual K-pop idols. <laughs> so Zena can speak Korean and French. I'm gonna give her the ID number because it's really long. <laughs> her main skill is intelligence. One of her hobbies is skydiving. She's the type to help behind the scenes rather than have the spotlight on her. <coughs> Zen is quiet as she's cautious but also confident about herself. Her intuitive power is rather low, but her affinity is even lower. She loves musk scents, cats lay laying down. In snowy days, Zen shows lots of egg yo when she gets to know a person. A few words describe her as in independent called Gwichanism? What? Sundere? Her motto simple is best. Alright. And then third one, third member. Marty, Marty, Marty. Mati. Position uh, dance rapper Makne. Oh, she's a Makne. The, uh, the virtual Makne. <laughs> Birthday on November 23, 2003. Alright, she was born in autumn. Or is that she also crash landed um, somewhere in the world? Marty crash landed in Jakarta, Indonesia. She remembers skyscrapers high in the sky. Marty's main skill is her energy. She has the ability to make someone smile while be when being around her. Marty can speak Korean and Indonesian. She has a positive mindset about everything. Her empathy ability is very high. It's at 120, 120, sorry, <laughs> 123%. Marty's affinity is the highest in the group. Her intuitive power is also pretty high. She loves citrus scents, macaron. Imagination in the cool breeze. Someone also describes her as cute, lovely, playful, and mood maker. Her motto would be honest with yourself. Alright, that's Marty and the last member, Tyra. Tyra, yeah, Tyra. So she's the main rapper, main dancer, Makne. So there's two Maknes <laughs> in this virtual um, girl group. Birthday July 25, then say which year. She was born in summer. Tyra crashed in California, USA. She remembers the sounds of the waves and strong sun. She can speak Korean and English. A few of her hobbies are composing, beat making, and writing raps. Her empathy ability is 30%. Tara's in intuitive. So I want to pronounce the word, man. Intuitive power and affinity are both very high. She's greedy and a very competitive person. Her passion is her main skill. Tara loves wood accents, Hawaii pizza, dance practices, and sunny days. Forwards describes her as confident, passionate, tolerant, and competitive. Her motto: "Stay true to this moment." All right, so that's pretty much all um, the profile for this virtual girl group Mave. So who's my bias in Mave? I might go with Chiu. Yeah, because uh, I think she's the most um, attractive one. Let's see the vo results. All right, 1620 voted for Tyra, 1264 for Zena, 1216 for Shiyu, and 1070 
1070 for Marty. So the most popular one is Tyra. Alright. So that's... So we're gonna watch the MV now, guys. So yeah, 3, 2, 1, let's go. This is Mave Pandora MV. Alright. We're only gonna watch this once, by the way. Alright. Let's give me some KDA vibes. They look so real, man. It's the crazy thing about it, you know. <laughs> Oh man. And this is like set in a virtual world as well. I think it's called Metaverse. Which is similar to Espa actually. <laughs> oh my god. This is a good song, man. It's like you're watching an animated um, K-pop movie group. That's what I saw my mouth fill. <laughs> yeah. That's what you get from me watching this MV. I think that's Marty, the one with the glasses here. That's she. I'm trying to remember the names as well. It's Tyra, Shiyu, Marty, and. I forgot the other one. Yeah. yeah, that's Shiyu, that's Shiyu. The one that looks like um, one young. <laughs> She kind of looks like Karina as well, from Espa. Virtually, I guess, yeah. <laughs> the budget for this MV is insane, man. Like, this is a high budget MV, man. I'm speechless. <laughs> Pandora. Maeve. I'm literally speechless, man. Okay, I'm gonna run right now, guys, and I'm gonna give my final thoughts and opinions on this new girl group. And on the for and, and the MV as well. So yeah, that was my reaction to Maeve Pandora. The first ever virtual Korean girl group. Um, promoted by an actual company uh, yeah that was incredible man um, I absolutely enjoyed watching the MV I know they're virtual idols and the ones who's like does the vocals and I guess the choreo as well um, for me are like real people um, but I think the company just wants to promote this girl group as a virtual K-pop girl group because that's gonna that's really gonna earn them a lot of money. Because you know, um, they wanna they wanna make a new way. Pretty much is what they said in their um, uh, motto. I think is it motto? Motto? Yeah. 
but yeah Maeve is going to be like I guess the start of the future of K-pop I mean I think um, the fifth generation is going to be insane and we're going to see more virtual K-pop groups um, in the fifth gen and I mean it's, it's good to see um, you know virtual K-pop groups as well because they bring something new but yeah I'm sure you guys are still gonna like uh, support um, real idols real girl groups but for me this um, virtual girl group looks um, promising and I think I think they're they're the best so far um, I think they're the best like virtual girl group um, so far in my opinion and they're gonna um, become more successful I think um, in the future that's all I can say so if you guys like virtual K-pop groups um, to support Maeve and yeah I mean they just like debuted as well in music world um, today which is insane but it's like a hologram you know um, yeah Maybe it's the future of K-pop, man. That's all I can say. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Uh, that, 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 that's, I'm stuttering again. Sorry. So that's that's my reaction to um, Maeve, Pandora's box. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and follow my Instagram as well. I post all the latest news for K-pop and for Kepler, especially for Kepler. Um, I'll put the link to my Instagram in the description down below, down below so you guys can follow it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Now I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.